Guatemalans to choose president amid distrust, flight to U.S. Guatemala City U Guatemalans will vote for their next president Sunday in elections plagued by widespread disillusion and distrust, and as tens of thousands of their compatriots flee poverty and gang violence to seek a new life in the United States. With 19 candidates in the race for president, and the winner needing an absolute majority, a runoff between the two top vote getters is likely in August. The road to this presidential election has been a chaotic flurry of court rulings and shenanigans, the legal party switching and allegations of malfeasance that torpedoed the candidacies of two of the top three candidates. Three of the last four elected presidents have been arrested post presidency on charges of corruption. Graft allegation A recent poll from CID Galaflati Noamedica found that nearly a third of Guatemalan adults surveyed believe the election will be plagued by fraud. Another 20% The election marks the first time that Guatemalans can cast ballots from abroad at least 60,000 are eligible to vote in Los Angeles, New York, Maryland, and Washington, D.C., all home to large numbers of Guatemalan emigres. Unemployment, violence, corruption, rising costs of living and the shoddy state of the country's highways are among top concerns for the country's electorate. Surging migration The top five candidates are former First Lady Sandra Torres of the National Unity and Hope Party, who is expected to finish first but without enough votes to win in the first round. Former prison elections will also be held Sunday for Vice President, Congress and for Mayors.